Hello, it's our second video for flipped classrooms and today we're going to be talking about the current electricity. So how does current differ from static? Well current is uh, the movement of electrons from one area to the other, where static was it was staying in one place. So current electricity, that's what we're going to find in our light bulbs and in our outlets. It's the electricity that's going to make our computers run and your cell phones get charged. So what is electric current? It's specifically the small particles, subatomic particles, for electrons. So here is a diagram showing you the movement of electrons through the wire. Now, which direction is the current flowing? This is really important for you to know. And it actually moves from the negative to the positive end of the terminal. So it always moves in that direction. So it, the little two, the, li the lines up at the top here, <coughs> There are a battery, and the small end is always the negative end, and the long end is always the positive end. So there's four main components of a circuit. They have an energy source, a wire that allows for the flow of the energy, a switch that is used to control the energy when you want it on and when you want it off. So, for example, a switch to turn on the lights in a classroom, or the uh, power button on the top of your cell phone. And then finally, a load. And a load is anything that converts electrical energy, so the electrons that are flowing through your wires, into a form of energy that it needs. So, for example, if you're making uh, toast, the purpose is to heat up, so it's going to be turned into heat energy. It could also be used as light or motion energy. And this is really the reason why we have electrical circuits to begin with. So here are nine symbols that are really important for you to know. Now, I have posted this specific slide on Angel, if you would prefer just to print it out. But these are the symbols we're going to be using in our lab when we're, when we're actually drawing out the diagrams. So here is a very simple electrical circuit diagram. You can see that they're all labeled there for you. So the battery is labeled. We have the electrons flow from the negative end of the terminal all the way through the light bulb and back the other way. Okay, so the electron flow is going in this direction. The switch is open, which means the electrons are going to get to that point and they're not going to be able to traver traverse all the way back to the battery, so they're going to get stuck here. So this circuit is considered open and this light bulb would not function because we need an entire circuit the electrons to be able to go around in a complete circle for a light bulb to actually work. So here's the difference between open and closed circuits. An open uh, circuit is when the switch is off. So we're not connecting the circuit. So electrons cannot flow through the loop. They actually stop. Where a closed circuit, the switch is on, so we have connection of the entire circuit in one complete loop and electrons are able to flow through the entire loop. Now, when we're drawing electrical circuits, there's a couple things you need to remember. Wires, they are all are straight lines. We need to be using rulers. When you're coming to a corner in a circuit, they need to be square corners. The battery source should always be on the left-hand side. And voltmeters are connected in series, and, sorry, ammeters are connected in series and voltmeters are connected in parallel. Now, those last two points probably don't make a whole lot of sense right now, but we'll get to them tomorrow. So here's two examples of a series and a parallel circuit. A series is one big loop. So you can see that there's only one direction or one way that the electrons could flow around the outside. So how many batteries does it have? It has one, two batteries, two cells. Is this switch open or closed? It's open, which means our light bulbs will not be on. These are also light bulb symbols. And the negative end of the battery terminal will be at this end, so the electrons will be flowing in this direction. A parallel circuit has branches. You can see that there's a branch here that the electrons could go down or they could travel all the way down to the end. This switch is open, so the light bulbs would not be on. How many switches does this circuit have? It has one switch. 
How many loads? So anything that's using up the electricity, it has two. And the flow of electrons is coming out of the negative terminal, the small end, and traveling around this direction to get back to where it will begin.